Hey guys, so to start out the look, I am priming my eyelids using Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm just blobbing a bit of that on my eyelids and then blending it out using an F79 brush. And then to set the eyelids kind of in place, I'm using the Bone Shade from the Tardist Pro Palette using an F35 brush. Then going into the shade Bold, I'm using this as kind of a transition shade. It's just like a muted, warm toned brown. So I'm just buffing that into the crease using an E40 brush. Then going into the shade called Edgy, which is like a super chocolatey kind of brown. I'm just starting to build this up into the crease. The eye look really is quite a messy look because I mean you're dead you're a zombie you've come out of the ground so it does not need to be like a neat smoky eye so honestly just slap the color on I feel like the messier it is the better it looked so yeah then I'm going in with the NYX jumbo eye pencil in black bean which this creases so badly so I would recommend using a um, black gel liner if you're going to use a black base but that's just my tip but now I'm taking the shade punk which is the matte black from the palette and I'm just using my F70 brush just to basically pack this all over the um, entire eyelid then I started to blend out the edges using an E40 brush the same one I pretty much had been using previously but it was just a bit too fluffy so I swapped over to an E38 which is more of a dense kind of blending brush and I just started to blend those edges so that it was nice and smoky and I just added black where I needed it to kind of add pigmentation where I was blending if that makes any sense. Then I'm taking this shade I think it's called Fierce it's like a purpley kind of mauve shade and I just used an E40 brush just to buff, buff a little bit of that into the crease. Then I took some micellar water and I just basically wiped away any fallout and created more of a sharper edge. Then just going in with a black cold pencil, this one's from the brand Models for Fur, I tightlined my eyes and created like a messy line along my lash line it's not totally necessary I just wanted to make sure the lashes blended and then just going in with some more of the black shade from the palette on an E38 I just added a little bit more of that then I'm just using the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara and applying a thin coat of that and going in with the Vegas Nay and Eye Lure Shining Star Lashes Moving on to the base, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Primer and just massaging that over my skin. And then for foundation, I use the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation and I use the shade True Ivory. It was a bit lighter than my skin tone, but I wanted it to be pretty light as we were going for that kind of pale, dead look so I just used a beauty blender just to buff this into the skin and give me a flawless base then I went ahead and added some eyebrows so I used the same black eyeliner because in the 1920s they had very thin very dark eyebrows so I made them super duper thin and obviously black so yes just create a thin eyebrow and you're good to go then to conceal any areas on my face that I wanted to conceal I used my Tarte Shape Tape I didn't actually conceal under my eyes because there was absolutely no point as we were going in with darker shadows under there later so keep that in mind and then to set my face I used the RCMA no color powder and an F35 brush from Sigma and just press this into the skin Then I went in with a little bit of bronzer. This isn't totally necessary, but I wanted to add a little bit of color to the face. I don't know, I just decided that that was what I wanted to do. So I took the Makeup Geek Contour Pan in Bad Habit and just applied a bit of that over my face. 
and I just took my beauty blender once again to make sure that everything was blended and then I added a tiny little bit of this pale blush it's from Sigma and it's in the shade pet name um, as I said I just added a really small amount of that and then to highlight my face I used the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle and I applied it to the tops of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow and down my nose and my chin. Then for lips I first lined them using this Rimmel Lip Liner in the shade Cherry Kiss. So I created a really sharp and pointy kind of cupid's bow because that's the kind of lip shape they used to do back in the 20s and then I used the liquid lipstick in the shade Rico from uh, Stila which is a beautiful beautiful burgundy like oxblood shade so I just filled them in entirely then moving on to the under eyes I'm taking the shade called no filter and I'm starting to buff this super messily under my under eye um, as you can see I'm bringing it down really far this is where you can kind of just have fun with it mix your colors together and create a super dark under eye um, this shade I believe is vamp and I'm just mixing a bit of that in to darken it up and as I add each color I'm sort of bringing it down lower and lower so yeah kind of just want to mix them all and start creating a ombre -y kind of effect um, it just makes it look a lot more realistic so here I'm going in with the shade fierce and just doing the same thing then adding a bit of the shade punk which is the black I actually used an E38 which is a bit more dense and I started to buff this right under the like lower lash line and then blend it all down because it was a darker shade Then I just went back in with the E40 and just made sure everything was super blended to make it look very realistic. And then I went back in with my trusty black eyeliner and I aligned my waterline and just smudged it into my lower lashes. Then to create the little vein kind of effect on the under eyes, I used my Sigma Gel Liner in Wicked and a super tiny E06 winged liner brush and I just basically created little stems and I don't know, I kind of drew the line and then drew little lines coming off of the big line, if that makes sense. Then I mix the shades Fierce and Vamp together on my FO5 small contour brush and I just started to contour my cheekbones so I'm contouring and then bringing it right down next to where my mouth is and sort of bringing it down to my jaw if that makes sense. It just makes it look super sunken and thinned out so yeah I really like the way this made everything look and I just added a bit around my hairline on my forehead as well just to tie it all in together. Then going in with my Mehron liquid latex in the shade light flesh I'm starting to do the special effects which is so easy guys trust me. So you want to just apply a thin layer to your neck then add another thin layer over the top of that um, and then take a tissue and you basically want to pull the tissue apart so that it's just one ply and pretty much tear it into a strip that will fit across your neck. So stick it down and then apply some more liquid latex over the top. It doesn't matter if it breaks apart like this, you can just tear off the bits you don't need and it kind of makes it look like yuck skin anyway. Then I used my beauty blender and applied some foundation to blend it which I highly do not recommend doing because this ruined my beauty blender, I had to throw it in the bin so don't do that, use a brush or your fingers. Anyway then I'm taking a small pair of scissors and I am cutting a line across where I've applied that liquid latex. Be very careful when you do this, just, just be careful okay. And then I'm taking the cream makeup from Mayron in the shade black and I'm just using an F65 brush and I'm applying it in that hole. Then I'm mixing some of that liquid lipstick that I actually am wearing and I'm just putting that over the top and being a little bit more messy with this because it kind of looks like dirty blood that's been sitting in the wound. So yes, 
just applying that kind of messily and I'm starting to bring it out a little bit more so that it's kind of a bruised effect. Then I'm going back in with this eyeshadow, I don't know what this one's called, um, but I'm using an E37 brush and I'm just starting to press this into the area all around where the wound is, so just to make it kind of look bruised and, you know, messed up. And then I took this red eyeshadow from Inglot and just did the same thing, applied it all around the wound. Then I went in and added some lower lash mascara, I do this in such a weird order. And then finally to finish off the look I chucked in some white contacts and added some fake blood. This is the congealed blood from Mayron. it's super thick and syrupy so just be careful. I got it all through my hair and it was not fun to wash out, let me tell you. But it was super fun to play with and I really hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween makeup look. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and if you try it out don't forget to tag me in your photos and I will see you guys in my next video.